Coming up, the women's basketball team starts practice and the tennis team welcomes new players. And the Blazer football team is hopeful to get back on track after their first loss of the season. All of this and more coming up on your Blazer Sports Report. Blazer Sports Report. I'm Tiffany Nicole. And I'm Isaiah Fofano. The basketball season is less than a month away and the Lady Blazers have already begun practicing in preparation. Practice is officially underway for the Lady Blazers basketball team as they continue to get prepared for their season opener as less than one month away. The Lady Blazers are led by the 2012 South Region's Coach of the Year, Coach Kylie Hill, who's coached the Lady Blazers to the GSC Conference Tournament over the last 10 years. The Blazers ended last season with a 16 and 11 record overall and an 8 and 9 in the Gulf South Conference play. To improve this year, the ladies will need to step it up in the scoring category, increase their field goal percentage, and reduce the turnovers. With an excess of injuries last year, the team has high spirits with the improvement of health amongst the team. Having a strong roster of 14 ladies, there are also several returning Lady Blazers, including last year's top scorers, Courtney Williams and Courtney Sprague, who are ready to lead their team to a successful season. And with your Blazers sports support, this is Micah Howell. It looks like the Lady Blazers are planning to turn it up a notch this year. Make sure you support them when their season begins November 11th. The Valdosta State tennis team is looking to improve their next season by capitalizing on new players. Reporter Courtney Benton was able to catch up with the team and see how things are going. Though the season won't begin for another four months, the Blazers are hard at work, along with new coaches for the season, Brian Rasmussen and Konstantin Koshinko. It's the off season, so it's a little bit tough right now to stay motivated, keep everyone up and healthy, I suppose. But it's going well. Uh, looking forward to February. Looking forward to getting more serious, more practice time. Right now we're just kind of winding down. Their deeper roster will lessen the impact of injuries for their upcoming season. Especially last season we didn't have too many players. So like uh, if somebody struggled like with injuries then it was really hard for us. You know? okay. But right now we're going to have like eight, around eight players in each team. So it's going to be a more comfortable situation for us. Fresh off their individual tournaments, the Blazers tennis team is preparing for their upcoming season starting in February. For the Blazers Sports Report, I am Courtney Benton. Go Blazers! We hope to see great things from the tennis team in their next season. After suffering a tough loss against conference rival West Alabama, the Blazers are still on the hunt for another national title. Ariel Brooks has more. Right here at Baysmore Heider Stadium, that Austin State's football team began its four-game winning streak back in September. Obtaining the 4-0 record seemed like a fairy tale beginning to another title win, especially while taking out two conference teams on the way. But the Blazers' momentum came to a halt as they traveled to West Alabama and got a small dose of what they had been dishing. The Valdosta State Blazers will be taking the field again after their first loss of the 2013 season. They fell short to the Tigers of West Alabama during one of the most anticipated Division II matchups of the season with a final score of 49 to 30. Even with the loss, the Blazers are still in the top 25 for the Division II national rankings in football, dropping from first to 12. The Blazers are led by quarterback Caden Cochran who has already racked up over 1,000 yards and has 10 touchdowns in this season alone. With the help of wide receivers Willie Downs and Shontavious Jones, as well as running backs Cedric O'Neill and Austin Scott, the Blazers are still hopeful in the race to a national championship title. If won, this would be the Blazers' fourth national championship in football and the third under head coach David Dean. 
Head coach David Dean says that in order for the Blazers to stay ahead, they have to one, stay consistent, and two, keep the quarterback, Caden Cochran, off the ground. We hope to see the Blazers pick it back up in their next game. Ariel Brooks with your Blazers Sports Report. We wish the Blazers the best of luck as they continue the season. Be sure to show your support at the next home game. Well, that wraps up our show for today. I'm Tiffany Nicole. And I'm Isaiah Fofano. We'll see you next time right here on the Blazers Sports Report. Go Blazers!